to my channel, it's Kasten here, and in today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be doing some DIY lash extensions at home, you guys, yes, at home, you guys don't have to go to nobody, you guys get to save money and do it yourself. And these come in a variety of different lashes, we have bottom lashes, light volume fans, 70 spike, um, insta volume like some bigger ones all right and they're ranging from the size of 10 12 14 and 16 also have the size 5 and 6 for your bottom lashes and these lashes you guys are very soft and very lightweight as well but yeah enough chit chat if you guys want your lashes like these or to just learn how to do your lashes keep watching first of all i love the packaging so cute it's like a ombre purplish like it's cute also it has directions on the back so like how to use it these are the lashes you guys what are we gonna do today we have bottom lashes we have um light value volume fans so now this is really stepping the girls up because i've never <laughs> i never heard of these like wordings like i know bottom lash and stuff but like light volume volume fan like what's going on then we have 70 spike fan then we have, yeah, 70 spike. So it goes from bottom lash, light volume, volume, and um, 70 spike fan. All right, so they got five, six, length, 10, 10, 12, 14, 16. Next we have applicators. Last but not least, we have the bond and the seal. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So of course you wanna start off with like nothing on your um lashes make sure they're clean um make sure your face is washed as for me my makeup is just done i didn't put no type of you know mascara or nothing okay so this is my um eyes so we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna get into it you guys you guys want to start with like a lash crimper also have a handy dandy mirror like i'm talking not like no mirror that you like a big mirror i'm talking like something you could see your face and lashes up close all right so get you a mirror so first of all know what you're going to do first <laughs> that's the first thing you want to do so know what you're going to do first so i'm thinking we're going to go in with the light volume fan the light ones i don't know i'm feeling light today and they're very soft you guys these are soft so anyway start by straining your um lashes and stuff um if you guys want to skip this stuff you don't have to do it i'll just do it because it's, it's just something I do. Here's the um, lashes up close and personal. So you guys see the bottom lash, the light volume, volume fan, the light volume fan, the 7D spike, and then the, um, the mega volume. We're going to use the, this is the bond and seal, so I'm show you guys up close going to use the bond first of course this one's going to be hard because this is a big old mirror and i can't find my little circle small one and it's weird because it was just here like it was just here take that bond and you're basically going to be tapping underneath to the root of your lashes and stuff um you can go throughout the lashes i know i told you guys you can't before but you can if you have like a primer or something that you won't Feel so sensitive or your lashes like something to really like protect your lashes so the bond you're gonna take your eye and you're gonna pull it up and tapping that bond underneath and just make sure you don't get the glue in your eye if you do get glue in your eye make sure you're rinsing of course all right that's enough bond for me i don't want to go over with too many layers i try not to blink so much because then the bond starts sticking to the other lashes on the bottom um you're going to pick out your lashes so i like to do the numbers higher to the end and then the lower numbers to the um front end we're going to be taking the number 14 no 16 and i just took it off this is how it should look oh this is light we're gonna put that number 16 at the very end. These are small. You're basically, I'm gonna just try to do it on camera, but you're basically gonna lift up your eyelid and put it at the very end. And bam. 
Like you're basically putting the end of that lash to the end of your lash. Does that make sense? Like the, the root of your lash. Let's do it again. I'm gonna take another 16 because these are very tiny. Like when they say individual lashes, like lash extensions, they mean individual. Like these are not no thick, these are not thick um, lines or anything. So let's do it again. Are you guys getting what I'm putting down? <laughs> I'm gonna put another 16. And I'm gonna try to put that one all the way to the back end because I didn't really put it to the back one. I'm gonna try to open my eyes wide. Okay, we're gonna go on with another 16. And luckily for you guys, if you guys feel like you're messing up or if you guys feel like it's not um, giving what it's supposed to give, like if you guys do not like your layout so far, just take it off. Um, if it's like actually glued on, and you guys feel like you can't take it off, get a remover. I'm gonna go in with a 14. Going in with another 14. Going in with another 14. I'm just grabbing as I go and I'm just placing it as I go. Grabbing another 14. I think that's about five 14s. I'll rewatch to calculate. So, so far I'm loving this glue because it's really holding these lashes. Next we're gonna go in with a 12. And if you guys are interested in seeing how the other numbers look, I will do like a video for you guys. I'm gonna do another 12, so that's like two 12s. All right, we're gonna go in with the 10. Since they're like the light ones, since this is the gold I was gonna go for, I wanna go over with some more numbers. Like stick them in certain places. So we're gonna go in with another, um, we're gonna go in with a 12. I'm gonna just fill in like some of the gaps that I feel is just like, mm, you know, there's no wrong way of putting on these lashes if you're not putting on, you know, any bond or seal, that's the only thing that you could do wrong, you know? But other than that, it's all about how you want your eyes to look and how your placements, because I could do this and you guys could do the same mapping of how I'm laying them out. And then afterwards you're like, mm, I don't really like this. It all depends on you, okay? All the time when you're peeling off lashes, you're going to, for example, take from underneath the lash here, underneath at the base of it, you're gonna pull up, never pull from the lash on top, always from the bottom. And then with your applicator, you t you hold it from the tip of the hairs, like so. So then all you see is the bottom of the um, lash and that's what you're putting onto your root of your lash or where you put the glue, all right? It doesn't make sense, you meet the root with their root, which is where your hair grows out from basically. So once you're pretty satisfied with what you have, that's when you put the seal. And the seal is the other side of it, of course. And you put the seal and you just basically pat again of the root of the lashes, or you could pat all over too, it's up to you. But you're just gonna use it and it looks like this. All right, so that's the seal and you're going to seal your lashes in 
just go from underneath and just pat them in. All right. It's basically like a mascara. This one has a lot of liquid coming out of it. So, like these, you guys, they look more natural. Like, I like these because they look, um, I like these because they look very natural and not doing like too much. It's not like, oh, she has on some falsies or oh, she has on some lash extensions and stuff. It looks very like growing out my, yeah. That's what I like about like lash extensions of when you put them on yourself, like you know how you're gonna want them. We're gonna go in with the telescopic, telescopic, I'm gonna say telescopic, mascara by L'Oreal. Okay, Paris. All right, wee oui, wee. Oui. We're gonna um, put mascara on the bottom lash. Mascara really fixes or completes the look. All right, it really completes the look. Rating wise, I will give these lashes like on me a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be real. Like these are a 10 out of 10. As for the lashes, the whole process, I had issues and I don't know if it's because of how thin they are um, cause this is a light volume. You have to be very delicate with those because they rip. Um, not all of the lashes, it was just like certain ones because of how I was picking it up to. It had, it played a part with me, but also they're very light. Like compared to the bottom ones, I feel like if I was able, if I was taking those off, they won't damage or anything. Since they're very lightweight and everything, those were like ripping like crazy. So I had to throw some pieces away. Um, Overall, they're very soft. Like these are soft lashes. Like it's giving real lashes. All right, I really love them. It's not giving no fakeness, no hardened feeling. It's super soft. Um, that's the only issue I had with the lashes is the light volume one. You had to be very, very careful on how you take apart it from the packing, the packaging. So be careful how you're taking it apart from the packaging and stuff. You guys get to add layers and stuff. So that's the cool part about it. Like say if you want to go over once and then go over twice, you could do that. So you can add layers. I do love these lashes. Like I really do. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Like it's giving natural, not doing too much. Um, I added on mascara because it really like opens my eyes even more. But I overall, like I can't stop staring at myself. I can't stop looking at myself like, these are great. Um, I will have the link in my description box on where to purchase. All right. Also follow me on my social media accounts as well. Support, support, support. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.